Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the age of the universe. So let's get started. It says here that if we assume that the expansion of the universe is happening at a steady rate, we can estimate the age of the universe by reversing the process and seeing how long it would take to come to a single point, i.e. the Big Bang. Now, just to visualise this, I'm going to show you a quick animation. So imagine this is the size of our universe just now and it's continuing to expand outwards. If we go backwards in time, then it would look like this, almost like a deflating balloon. And eventually it would get to a very small point like that, which we call the singularity. And the singularity is thought to be what the Big Bang started as. So this was an infinitely hot, infinitely dense point, which was thought to rapidly expand. So going back to the notes, we can actually work out a value for the age of the universe using two equations, which we've already seen. So it says taking time as time equals distance over speed. So the first equation is just our classic speed distance time and rearranging it in the form of time. So we get t equals d over v and rearranging Hubble's law, which we know as v equals h naught d to d divided by v equals one over h naught then we have now two equations for d over v. So we have d over v equals t, and we have d over v equals one over h naught. So we can now equate the two because we have two d over v expressions. And if we do that, we get t is equal to one over h naught. So t equals one over h naught will allow us to estimate a value for the age of the universe. And it says that from this calculation, the age of the universe is thought to be around 13.8 billion years old, i.e. 13.8 times 10 to the 9 years. So that would be from substituting in here 1 divided by our constant. Remember, our constant value of h naught was 2.3 times 10 to the minus 18 per second. So if we do 1 over that and then convert from seconds into years, you should get a value of 13.8 times 10 to the 9 or thereabouts. Lastly, it says to note that distances are often given in light years rather than meters. Remember to convert between the two, we can use the following. So we've got one light year is equal to 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. So you can either remember that one light year is equal to 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters, or you can practice using speed distance time to calculate the distance using the speed of light V times the time for the value of one year in seconds, which would give you out this number. So you either need to be able to know how to get this number or just remember the number for one light year, as that's going to help you when doing problems. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.